Actually, in these uh, current circumstances, diplomacy is a hard choice for both Russia and uh, the NATO camp. Uh, therefore, in my opinion, there will be some escalation, especially on the military level in the eastern parts of uh, in Donetsk and Logansk. And the Ukrainian army and the other paramilitary groups, especially the neo-Nazi groups, they will try to capture more lands in uh, Donetsk and Logansk. But after that, diplomacy could prevail, but it depends also on the sanction regimes of the Western governments, because they are vowing to, uh, Im they, they vote to impose further sanctions on Russia. However, we know that these sanctions could be effective against smaller and uh, weaker economy uh, economies and uh, not against uh, Russia. These sanctions are meant to change the behavior uh, of Russia, the foreign policy of uh, Russia. However, history uh, can tell us clearly that uh, such sanctions cannot really change the foreign policies of, uh, of the nations and it will make them more determined uh, to continue with their foreign policies. Therefore, when these uh, economic sanctions fail to uh, achieve this goal, they will try to impoverish the, uh, the Russian people through uh, targeted uh, sanctions. They call it targeted sanctions, but it's targeted directly against the people in order to impoverish them and urge them and encourage them to rise against uh, the, the government, as they have tried to do multiple times uh, by uh, the radical right-wing Navalny and his group in, in, in Russia. Because the Western governments are not going to accept any less than uh, a, a Russian state that is weak, uh, that is subordinate uh, to the uh, to the NATO uh, policies. Actually, it will stabilize it on the long run. However, uh, in the coming months, uh, unfortunately, Donetsk and Lugansk will witness uh, some um, very difficult days because there is no way for the United States and uh, its European partners to um, miss the opportunity. Uh, to take revenge against uh, the Russian move, which caught them in surprise because they didn't expect uh, that Russia would go this far uh, to defend its national security. We are talking about an area that is on the borders with Russia. We're not talking about Cuba, we're not talking about Canada. Therefore, this entrenchment of NATO, whether directly or indirectly on the borders of, uh, of Russia, it, it poses an existential threat. Therefore, uh, the, the recognition will allow uh, the Russian peacekeeping forces and later the uh, Russian army and bases in, in, in Logansk and Donetsk in order to defend these two regions against uh, the uh, foreign uh, influence and foreign NATO uh, attacks. There will be attacks against this area, but on the long run, this will, these areas will be stabilized and it will, uh, the peace and stability will return when uh, the Western governments realize that they cannot capture these areas again and they cannot uh, create a satellite state in that area that is meant to uh, destabilize Syria and threaten its national security. The Ukrainian government and the consecutive governments since 2014, they tried to capture Donetsk and Logansk in all. And they couldn't. They been. Uh, they were receiving uh, money. They were receiving training. They were receiving all sorts of arms from uh, their Western partners. And they couldn't do that. And after the recognition, the mission of the Ukrainian government to capture these two regions is almost impossible. Especially after uh, the Russian side has sent its peacekeeping forces uh, to this area, Ukraine cannot act. Uh, the current system in, in or regime in Ukraine cannot act independently. They are under heavy influence of NATO. And NATO is the one who is pushing Ukraine into a conflict against Russia. And Ukrainians have no interest to fight against the Russians. And the Russians also have no interest to fight the Ukrainians. But uh, since 2014, this country has turned into uh, a jungle for, uh, for the NATO affiliates. And they are uh, they are actively planning to destabilize Russia from, from Ukraine and they are actively planning to uh, threaten the national security of Russia. Therefore, this step of Russia, it could be seen by uh, the Western uh, pundits as an offensive move. But the core of the issue is defensive because if Russia doesn't move now, uh, the Americans are coming inside the borders 
of, of Russia. And we are talking about only now Donetsk and Lugansk. And God knows what could happen uh, in the next uh, months when uh, the United States may pause its, impose its will on uh, the Ukrainian regime and maybe uh, join it into NATO. And that would drag the entire European continent into a, a big conflict. And nobody has an interest in that, uh, especially the Germans and the French. But it seems the ones who are most excited about war with Russia are the United States and the UK.